Punk Revolution now. Today we are going to be reviewing Negative XP's newest album, Gamer 2. Negative XP is a freaking asshole. I actually didn't even realize he released a new album recently. He's becoming more and more irrelevant, which frankly, I do take a little bit of credit for that because I did get his Twitter deleted. We did get into some fights a while back last year that went kind of viral and he was being a troll and he, his Twitter got deleted, which certainly helped slow down his exposure as an artist. And he's also just more and more people are realizing that he's a racist and misogynist, just freaking asshole who makes garbage music. And he released his album Gamer, uh, I don't know how, like last year or something, which was just tremendously boring. And now he's got Gamer 2, a sequel to a boring album, seems to be running out of ideas. So he's going irrelevant, thank goodness, because he's a fucking terrible person and his music is freaking garbage, which is a win for us, by the way. Shame on you, at negative XP, your music sucks. Okay, let's get this show on the road, everybody. Let's start by taking a look at the album cover. In this album artwork, you can see there's a lot of things here that signal American conservatism, like the American flag and, and the guns. And even at this point after Gamergate, video games are also sort of somewhat associated with conservatism. And even though musically there's no like explicitly political lyrics in this album that are conservative, the truth is, is this like conservative virtue signaling is like critical to negative XP as an artist because his music is just so fucking garbage that of course he's not gonna be able to build up a fan base organically. The only reason he has a fan base is because of his 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 incredibly popular misogynistic music and, and racist Twitter. Like he he literally has only built up a fan base by saying, hey everyone, my music is garbage, but I'm a fucking stupid conservative, therefore all the other stupid conservatives come listen to me. And I guess it worked because conservatives are sad, lonely, tribalistic people. I don't really know. Just like listening to his music. You can't help but wonder, is Negative XP aware of how fucking bad his music is? It kind of reminds me of like a Republican politician. Cause a Republican politician, you know, a lot of them go to like Ivy Leagues or very well educated and you can't help but wonder, are they, do they actually believe the garbage that's coming out of their mouths or are they just extremely cynical and they're just, they're saying whatever they need to say to appeal to voters even if they don't really believe it. Like do Republican politicians really believe that Building a wall should be the number one priority to improve people's lives. I think that's just blatantly stupid to anyone who's thought about it for more than two seconds. I believe that Republican politicians know deep down that that's not the case. They know deep down that Donald Trump didn't win the election, but they're just gonna say it so they can fucking win the elections that they need to win. I think Negative XP, he might be doing the same thing. Cause like, He's gotta be aware. He's gotta be aware that this music sounds like fucking garbage. He's gotta be aware all the songs sound the same. He's gotta be aware that these lyrics are so fucking vapid and stupid, but he's getting a ton of listeners on Spotify. I think he's literally at the point he's just pumping out whatever fucking bullshit he can. I think the production is a little bit better on this album compared to the last one. The instrumentation's a little bit better. The guitar works a little bit better. The drums are a little, it's just a, instrumentally, it's a little bit better. Kind of sounds like a, like a, like a garbage version of car, early car seat headrest or something like that. But it's all fucking ruined by the fact that these songs are just so fucking just just so boring, just so boring. Maybe the production's a little better on this album, but this, the music is certainly more boring. He writes a very simple melody that is just so fucking simple, like da -na -ni 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 -ni. Actually, that's a little bit too complicated. It's more like repeat over and over again with very simple words like I am mad and I am sad. I am tired and I play video games. I am so sad. Like it literally sounds like a five-year-old who's like, who's, who's learning the basic words of emotions and still learning how to express himself with basic emotions. He's learning these words and he's, he's, he's trying to learn how to express his emotions, but because he's like a child, he literally doesn't have very complex emotions. That's what you hear in negative XP's music. And then with the fucking, the vocals are atrocious because he just sings off pitch. And the worst part is, is he he doubles up the vocals. That's a common strategy in recording music. You sing the melody twice, but then you take the two vocal recordings and put it on top of each other. It makes it sound more full sometimes. But the thing is, is like the two vocal recordings he puts on top of each other are slightly off pitch of each other, so it's just dissonant the whole time. So you have like, 
but it's like off, I can't sing two vocal parts at once, but imagine the pitches are just slightly off, so it just sounds like you're hitting like two piano keys that are right next to each other, and it just sounds like garbage. You put that on top, and there's a fucking construction going out, uh, going on outside right now, so it's gonna fucking ruin this video. The point is, it's just like unlistenable. It's unlistenable. It's, 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 it's honestly embarrassing, because Negative XP, he goes on Twitter, and he does this like whole like sociopath persona, like I'm so edgy, I'm, a, I'm not afraid to say racist and sexist things as if that's funny I mean obviously if this is the type of music you listen to you're not very bright so I'm assuming that's your sense of humor too and then he goes and puts like he, he, he acts all like he's like oh yes I might be edgy on the internet but the truth is I have real emotions and then he opens up emotionally and then there's like he has like the emotions of like a fucking like rat like a basic little rat that feels hungry or sad or 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 or, or happy like there's there's not very much complexity to negative XP there's no complexity to the music or songwriting there's no complexity to his humor there's no complexity to these melodies. It sounds fucking like demos that are just poorly produced. It's garbage! But going back to that Republican politician thing, like, I think Negative XP might be aware- Like, you ha- you ha- Negative XP, you have to be aware how fucking bad this is. You have to be aware because there's no fucking way anyone who knows how to play guitar would actually pick this up and actually, like, make it- Unless you're unless you're a fucking idiot, first off, or you, you're aware your fans are idiots, and it's gonna keep getting you money from streams. So obviously, this is a zero out of ten. Negative XP, you have no talent. Negative XP, you're a horrible person. Negative XP, I will never forgive you for the way you treated me. Negative XP, you are becoming irrelevant because your music is boring, and shame on you, and go screw yourself, and that's all I gotta say. So please like, comment, subscribe, everybody. Thanks for watching. Screw Negative XP. Punk Revolution, now.